grandstands at Aintree are silent, awaiting that moment of deafening applause when tipsters will know if they've had just a horse or the winner of the 1952 Grand National. That winner will possess speed, stamina, and not least, jumping ability. For among the 30 obstacles, Valentine's Brook has to be negotiated twice in the four and a half mile course. At Anchor Bridge, a new embankment has been built for spectators, though it won't be ready this year. But newsreel camera stands are ready to bring the thrilling race to this screen. Graveyard of many national hopes is Beecher's Brook. With a high fence and a four foot wide ditch on the landing side, it's just one of the jumps that make Aintree a law unto itself. The greatest test of horse and rider in the world. <laughs>